thanks for checking out the construction character pack. Let's check out what's included in this purchase. You will receive a cartoon character that's rigged inside of Blender. The purchase also includes six cartoon custom related assets. So we have pliers and stuff. We have a screwdriver. We have a measuring tape. We have a wrench. We have a hammer and this thingy. Here on the left side, we have 26 custom poses from which you can easily cycle through with one click. We also included this waving animation loop and the renders are super quick. 22 seconds in cycles and 8 seconds in EV. This is the wireframe. Very clean, optimized and for your games, animations, it's gonna work great. Thanks for staying tuned throughout the intro. Now I'm gonna go into more details about what's included in this purchase. I'm gonna look at the rig. I'm gonna show you the poses. I'm gonna show you how to make the poses. Everything's gonna be linked down in the description. So if you want to see a particular thing, just check out the timestamps, click on them and just check out what you want to check out. This character is made with Blender 3.0. So everything 3.0 and up is gonna work great. It's using the latest cycles render engine. So if you want to get Blender, it's free. Just go on blender.org, click on downloads and simply do download the latest Blender. This is the latest stable one, so 3.01. Maybe if you're watching this in the future, it's going to be 3.2 or whatever. It should still work. So just download it, install it and use this free software. All right, now we're going to check out the rig. It's fairly simple. We made it using Rigify and some few custom thingies. Uh, so let's go in pose mode. The one thing I would recommend is to always, always enable Simplify so it does not lag as much. It still lags a tiny bit, but uh, I'm using my laptop. If I was using my computer, it should be less laggy. Anyways, the rig is pretty awesome. Uh, we made special eyelid controllers so you can make blinking without an issue. Eyebrows, mustache, you can move the mouth. You can, of course, enable extra layers if you need for example for the hands you can enable finger details in case you want to do more stuff if you want to see the rig in action i have a section where i make a custom pose this is pretty much it the rig is pretty good it's going to work for your animations and for your uh, poses without any problem it's very good very optimized and the 3D assets are rigged as well, so if you need to make custom poses with them or animations, it's gonna work great. Now we're at the changing the poses part of the video. This is fairly simple stuff, but please do make sure if you make the purchase to pay attention because you can mess up and it can get annoying. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that and how to fix bugs in case they show up. So to change the poses, simply select the rig, make sure you don't have the clothing or whatever selected, you have the rig selected and simply go on the left side. If you don't have anything visible on the left side, you have not selected the rig. So make sure you have rig selected. And then let's say we click on standing confident normal and then you click on this icon. This is the third icon from the top. Click on it to, uh, to hide the rig. Just click on this and then you can cycle through the poses easily and uh, see all the available poses. It's pretty, pretty cool stuff. In case if you click it and it starts glitching. So let me show you how that glitch would look like. If you have a rig layer selected and you switch through the poses, you can see when you click, nothing changes. None of the poses change. It's not working and then you're mad. To fix this, simply go in the pose mode and make sure you have none of the layers selected. So you can see here, I press G and nothing happens. And if you have this square selected, for example, and I press G, you can see I have this square selected. So really make sure you have nothing selected. 
and go inside object mode and then you can change poses normally and it should work fine. Now we're at the exporting renders part of the video. To export renders, it's fairly straightforward. Just go on the top right corner, make sure of your camera and lights enabled. And then go on the top left and click. Choose which engine you want to use. So we'll start off first with cycles and then just go on the top left corner, click on render and then render image. So in my case, I'm using a laptop with a 960 GPU, so it's fairly slow, but if you're using the latest GPUs, it should be around four seconds. In my case, it's 20 seconds. As you can see, it's pretty great. You can, of course, up the resolution if you want 4K images. And uh, yeah, so if you want to do an EVs render, which is fairly quick, but not as high quality, you just go on the render engines and click on EV. And then simply click on render image. It should be a lot faster. So in my case, I think it's going to be around eight seconds. But please do keep in mind that the quality can be noticeable. In this case, it's not as noticeable, but sometimes it's well, basically, yeah, if you want higher quality, use cycles. If you want lower quality for previews, use EV. Now we're at the creating custom pose part of the video. And uh, yeah, we're gonna check out the rig and do cool, some cool stuff. So the first thing you make sure when you create your own custom pose is to make sure you're in default pose. So just click on default. Uh, yeah, default pose are the best if you're starting off with creating a pose because you don't want to start from something else unless you just want to do minor changes. Anyways. We're going to create our own custom pose. So just go into pose mode. Make sure you have simplify enabled so it does not lag. And let's just start. We're going to make the character salute. Uh, so we're going to pull the arm up. So in my case, it's a little laggy because I'm again using my laptop. Um, if you want to optimize more, you can go into solid mode. It's going to be even less laggy. So let's do the salute. This is the elbow controller. I'm just pressing R and rotating. Hopefully the yeah, R, R X or R Z to change the axis. Yeah. So we don't want to waste too much time on the hand details. Uh, Cause I'm just showing it quickly how to create a custom pose. But uh, yeah, in your case you should take more time to create your custom pose. Anyways, let's just move the head a bit and let's check out the pose. Pressing zero on my non-pad. Yeah, he's holding the hammer very weirdly, but let's say in our case, this is good enough. Maybe let's just move the legs a bit so I can show you how that looks as well. Okay, now we're happy with the pose. Uh, it's good enough in my case. That is all for creating a custom pose. Please, in your case, make sure you spend more time creating your custom poses as people will look at all the small details. So just pay attention and make sure it looks great. So we now created our custom pose and we want to save it. It's uh, fairly simple stuff, but please, again, make sure you follow along correctly because there's some small bugs that can arise and then you can lose your custom pose. So please make sure you pay attention. So yeah, we have our custom pose here. The thing you have to make sure is that you have none of the layers selected before you save the pose. So now I have nothing selected. I press G, nothing moves. That means nothing is selected and we want that. So in case if you press have this and you press G and you see something move. That means a layer is selected and just make sure you don't have a layer selected. So in our case, we, uh, we click on nothing. In your case, also click on nothing, press G to try to move your mouse. If nothing moves, that means none of the layers are selected. Now to save the pose, simply click on plus sign, add new. 
and bam, your pose is saved. It should be visible at the bottom. I do recommend instantly renaming it because later on you're going to be lazy and forget. So just make sure you name it accordingly. So in this case, we have it called holding, holding hammer looking afar. Now it's saved. We're going to uh, now cycle through all the different poses. We have our this one, we have this one. All is awesome. And now if you want to see our own custom pose, simply go on holding hammer, looking afar, and shablam. We have our own custom pose and it looks awesome. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, leave a like. And of course, if you want to purchase the 3D product, check out the link in the description where you can buy the product and do your own animations or projects. So that's awesome. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.